everybody, this is Jordan Janowitz. We're uh, down here at Fenton Powerhouse filming a shoulder and calf workout. Um, I'm five foot seven, currently weighing about 247 pounds. And in 2016, I did the USA's in Vegas as a light heavyweight, where I placed fourth out of about 32 competitors. And uh, then I went on to do North Americans. I didn't do so well there. So this year is definitely my uh, redemption year. Um, this year I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, nationals in Miami in November, so I'll be starting my diet in about another five weeks. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Jake Pace, <clears throat> Jake Payshine. Uh, I am uh, five foot nine, currently weighing 209 pounds in the morning uh, weight. Uh, I'm getting ready for the Michigan, uh, Michigan State Championships. It's uh, June 10th in Ypsilanti. Uh, we did shoulders today, um, Jordan did calves, I did abs at the end of it. Um, my last show was the Michigan and I got the uh, fourth place. I didn't come in the greatest, uh, wasn't the greatest day and uh, we're hoping that uh, we come in a lot uh, bigger, fuller and leaner this time uh, at, the, at the Michigan. Yeah, redemption year for me too as well. Um, I don't plan on doing. I don't know if I'm going to do a show after that, but if I place well, I might be doing junior nationals afterwards, uh, depending on my placing. And with my coach Carl Jackson, uh, with his with his, his decision on it too, uh, we'll we'll see after the after the show. But uh, right now I'm uh, 11 days out, I believe, and uh, yeah, that's about it right now. Uh, today was <clears throat> today we started off with uh, side laterals, dumbbell uh, side lateral raises. Uh, I actually went pretty heavy. Uh, I was actually surprised with the weight I did. Uh, started at 35 just to warm up, and then I went to uh, 45s uh, for 12, 55 for 12, 65, 70 for uh, 12, and then uh, 75s for uh, 10. Uh, and then uh, it was just back to forth, uh, basically like kind of like no rest with me and Jordan. Um, after that, we went to uh, military press. Um, Jordan did military press. I did Swift machine press. Uh, being that I'm 11 days out, I wanted to take it easy, uh, not looking to injure myself right now. Uh, so I went up to 255, I believe, uh, on that one. Uh, we did uh, four sets of uh, 10. Uh, I did four sets of 10 on mine. Uh, then I did a drop set at the end of it, uh, which is 225 down to 135 uh, for as many as I could with each plate. Uh, the dumbbell side ladder was in the beginning. We did five sets, uh, 10 to 12 reps. And uh, I'm going to give you Jordan now with the rest of our workout for today. Yo. Yo. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, the military press, uh, we went pretty heavy today. That one uh, 
It's my seated military press is my favorite shoulder exercise to get uh, massive delts. I actually tied a, a PR today. I did 315 for nine reps, so I was pretty happy with that. Strength is strength is going up. Um, and this is my leanest off season yet. I'm I'm working with Matt Porter now. I've been working with him for about I don't know about six weeks now. I weigh more than I ever have, and I'm definitely leaner than last year, so we're not going to have to drop nearly as much weight uh, for nationals uh, as compared to previous shows, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. And after the seated military press, we went on over to um, the side lateral uh, machine. Uh, he did uh, side laterals. I believe he did uh, about four sets of 15, and I actually did uh, front raises on it. Real good, strict controlled form on those. And then we went on over to the, um, the pec deck where we did, uh, we worked on our rear delts. On that we did four sets of 20. And then we went on over to uh, hammer strength shoulder press. On that we did three sets of 12 to 15 reps. Yeah, on that one, he, he did it how, you, how you're supposed to say. I like to go, I like to face towards the pad. I feel like that hits the uh, front delts a little better. Um, it's a, a different uh, angle that I that I prefer. I, I mean, I, you see the pros, they, they usually do it regular. Or I've seen some guys face towards the pad. It's, uh, it's comfortable for me. It feels like it hits the front delt really well. And then after that, we uh, finished up with dumbbell shrugs. Um, the dump, what's that? That was fun. The dumbbell shrugs were fun. Yep, always are. Um, we did four sets of 15. Um, worked my way up to 150s. My last two sets were uh, with 150 pound dumbbells. And with shrugs, I, I always make sure when I, I, I bring my traps up, I, I hold it for about a second, maybe half a second. You know, I don't ever, don't ever just bring my traps up and keep it moving. I, that's the best way to to, bring, to build mountains on the top of your shoulders is to, to squeeze. And then um, after that, I did calves and Jake did abs. My off-season diet with Porter, um, this is actually the first off-season that I've had a, a real uh, a diet that I've been following. Um, I'm eating all clean food. Uh, I do get uh, two cheat meals a week on the weekends. Um, Technically, my high my high food intake days it's uh, Sunday through Thursday, and I'm eating uh, just over 900 carbs a day. My protein is around uh, 400, and my fat intake is only uh, it's right around 20 grams. And the only fat I get is from my 96 uh, four beef, so I'm not taking in any fat. The only time I take in fat is on the weekends, um, Friday and Saturday. My first four meals, just a protein shake with a half tablespoon of almond butter, or not almond butter, but coconut oil. Those are my first four meals. And then after I get done training is when I get a free eat. I'm allowed to eat whatever I want. So for my cheat, um, Friday I'll usually do uh, a burger and a fry, and Saturday I'll usually get a pizza. I'm not a sushi guy. I think I'm the only bodybuilder in the world that doesn't no, like sushi. I'm not a sushi guy oh, Jake doesn't like it either. Yeah, I tried sushi. I tried to bite once, and I, I threw. I, I almost wanted to throw up. It was so disgusting. Trying to one of those fries or just raw? Raw. Okay. It was raw. Yeah. Okay. Good job. So, okay, so you're a little different situation. You're 11 days out. What's your diet like now, bud? My diet right now is is uh, is basically high protein, high fats, uh, carbs. We're actually just taking away today. Uh, last night was my last couple of oats. Uh, it's cool. I mean, it's what you gotta do. Like, can't bitch about it. You gotta do it. Um, I was added an extra two ounces of almonds and two extra tablespoons of almond butter or peanut butter, whichever my choosing. Uh, so I'm happy about that because I mix it with my protein at night with diametized with XT. It tastes like kind of like an ice cream kind of pudding thing to me. Um, my last uh, refeed was two weeks ago, I believe. Uh, just a burger and fry I had. Um, so we're basically just trying to get as flat as possible right now. 
Um, if he sees a change like where he needs to give me a little bit of like a carb, like refeed a little bit, I'm sure it'll happen. Uh, but he says I'm the biggest in this I've ever been right now, so uh, we're gonna stick with what's, what's going on. Uh, probably for a few days, and I gotta send pictures to him. So when he sees me again, I'm sure he's gonna do something. Um, cardio is only two hours a day, hour in the morning, hour after workout. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, lifting, I'm trying to lift as heavy as possible still uh, without getting an injury in, um, in there, uh, being safe about it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Last year I weighed at 196, I believe, uh, for weigh-ins. I weigh 209 right now. I'm hoping to weigh like 200 or something and be in the lower end of the heavyweight class, but just peeled as possible. Yeah, uh, I mean, if you put on a five pounds stage weight, that's huge. Yeah, five, five, if I put on a five pounds stage weight, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, I would, I would love to be in the heavyweight class. Bottom of the heavies even, doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm just looking to progress uh, this year and look bigger, leaner, fuller on stage. Um, uh, yeah, but last uh, time I weighed uh, 196 coming on the scale, so I didn't have to drop weight or try to gain weight for the weight class. So it was all good. But uh, I mean, I'm hoping to come in and the heavyweight, low and heavyweight. Uh, if not, I'll be a light heavyweight. No big deal. Yeah, you don't want to, you know, try to lose muscle to make it light. Yeah, we, we don't want to lose. Yeah, uh, my coach says if we don't, if we don't have to push it four or five days out, he's not going to. He's fine with wherever I uh, end up at. He's not look. Yeah, he's not making me uh, lose like a bunch of weight right now. He's just saying like we look good right now. We're gonna keep it. What's going on? Uh, if anything does change, he'll let me know immediately. Uh, he wants pictures like every three days now, so send it to him, and that's that's what's going on. That's about it. I would like to thank Jordan, honestly, because I've been I've been training with him for like four and a half, five and a half years, I think it is now, and he's been there most of the time with all my workouts, and he's been pushing me every time. If he sees me getting a little uh, lazy, like during prep, uh, I believe it was a week or two weeks ago, I was on leg press, it was getting a little tough. Uh, he, I saw him come over and he's just yelling at me a little bit, so... That helped me out, uh, pushed me a little more on the leg press, and I got the weight up. Uh, but he's been there most of my uh, workouts this year. Not as many as usually, because uh, with work schedules and our uh, just the time we have outside of the gym, we have to try to make it work somehow, but we do. Um, Carl Jackson, my coach, uh, is killing my diet this year. We're looking good, leaner and bigger. Uh, judging my, by my pictures, my side by side shots, I can definitely see a difference, which is awesome. Um, Basically, yeah, that's, that's about it. Jordan and uh, Carl, they've been there the entire time. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to thank, um, well, I'd like to thank Kevin Law here, the owner at Fenton Powerhouse for letting us film. I think this is the best, best powerhouse in the state of Michigan. It's very spacious. They have all the equipment that you need. You know, they, they play good music and they got, I can see they have a lot of good, uh, posters on the wall of all the Olympias, so that's that's pretty cool, that's motivation there. Um, I'd like to thank you, Jeff, um, for, I mean, this is probably like, probably the 12th video that we filmed in the last four years or so, so it's always been fun, and Jake, Jake's been here for, for every single one, I believe, so I have to thank him, uh, he's, you know, he's the best training partner I've ever had, I couldn't ask for a better training partner, so. Yeah, training partners are hard to come by, that's for sure. Um, and always, always helps in prep having a, a training partner. Sometimes I like to train alone, you know, but for the most part, I like to, I like to train with him. It's always great. Um, yeah, thank you, Jeff, for you know not only uh, filming, filming us, but everybody else that you film in the state and outside of the state. You know, it's it's great, great exposure to get people out there. Um, I think um, you know, Matt Porter, my coach. Everything's going well, so I'm, I'm excited to see what what happens this year. We're gonna, I think we're gonna make some some big changes in my physique, so it's gonna be pretty cool. And um, Mind and Muscle Gym, it's a great gym. That's my favorite gym in the state of Michigan. This is my favorite powerhouse. Um, 
But that gym, there's, I mean, there's no rules. There's, I mean, you can train insane there. And me and Jake, when we go to certain gyms, you know, we get complaints sometimes because when we're getting real intense, um, we get loud. And, you know, people don't like it. Oh, well, you know, they can put their, their headphones in. We really don't care. That's how we train. And it works for us. So, you know, I never complain about anybody else training. So just, just the way it is. Um, and Mind and Muscle is a great gym, and they have great supplements there. Um, all kinds of pre-workouts, um, protein, BCAAs, pro-hormones, legal pro-hormones. So it's a, it's a great gym if you haven't been there. And it's in uh, Clinton Township on Gratiot Avenue. I would actually uh, like to uh, comment back on that. Uh, Jeff, I would like to thank you as well for uh, filming us. Like You've been, you've been reasonable uh, with uh, meeting us halfway. That's awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, I want to thank Kevin Law actually again too because yeah, this gym actually is the best one. We haven't gotten any uh, complaints from Kevin, so that's always on the up and up. That's always good. Uh, yeah, other gyms we do get some complaints. Uh, I don't like that too much. Uh, but yeah, Mind and Muscle Gym, I want to add on that. That place, uh, you can do literally whatever you want, play whatever music you want. Yeah, and you yeah, you can put you can plug an iPod into the iPad there uh, with an auxiliary cord and they you can just blare the music. Uh, there's a lot of motivation over there. If you need people like to uh, help you, give you a spot, take pictures like for uh, progress pictures, they'll do it. Um, everybody there is uh, friendly, uh, friendly atmosphere. Uh, the atmosphere actually in the gym over there um, for leg day is perfect because they have like this one room that's like a dungeon uh, for leg extensions, leg uh, line leg curls, calf raises, um, and single leg curls, I believe. Greg too, any questions you know? Yeah, any uh, questions you have at uh, Mind and Muscle Gym, uh, Greg Moore uh, works there as well. Uh, he's very informative on any supplements, uh, workouts, training programs. Uh, just let him know when you go when you stop in there and talk to him. He's, he'll be more than glad to help you out.